good morning slash afternoon slash evening slash night no but you get the idea right welcome to yet another video by 5.5k tech where we are going to look into a new entrant in the smartphone industry and that is the black shark game smartphone by black shark technologies back by xiaomi so let's get started So as I said, Black Shark is a new company, but it is backed by an industry leader, Xiaomi. Now, Xiaomi is one of the main investors in Black Shark, and Black Shark is somewhat placed as Xiaomi's high-end smartphone brand. And with that, let's take a look at the smartphone. So the design is refreshingly different. It's re it really stands out from the metal glass sandwich build of other phones. Yes, the body of the phone is of metal build and it sure does have that gaming device look without being too obtrusive. There are two color variants, it's Polar Night and Sky Grey. At the back you have Black Shark's S logo and the dual camera system at the top. The main camera is of 12 megapixel with f1.75 aperture and with a sensor of pixel size 1.25 microns. The secondary camera is of 20 megapixel with f1.75 aperture and uh, with a sensor of pixel size 1 microns. The front camera is of 20 megapixel with f2.2 aperture and 1 micron pixel size sensor. Yes, the front camera shows 4K at 30 fps and it has face detection or the focus. The rear camera is said to come with a dark light enhancement technology. So at the front there is a fingerprint scanner which also doubles up as the home button and Blackrock says that the fingerprint scanner can be used to navigate the UI eliminating the needs for separate navigation buttons. The company also says that facial recognition will be coming through an update in the future. So the phone has fairly less bezels and this design allows for a one-sided gamepad to be attached to the top of the device. So this is one of those key things that make this a gaming focused smartphone. And the gamepad comes with an analog stick along with shoulder button. I do wish this was two-sided and you had more buttons on the other side because physical buttons are always better than touch controls which I always seem to suffer with. And the analog stick will be very useful in games like Modern Combat 5 and uh, PUBG and other shooters and open world games out there. Uh, so this gamepad has an inbuilt 340mAh battery and Black Shark says that this would be good enough for 30 hours of gameplay. And now to the screen. The screen is 5.99 inches with the new thinner but taller 18 to 9 aspect ratio. It comes with a full HD plus resolution, capable at 60 Hz like most of the phones out there, except the Razer phone. I do wish the refresh rate has been a bit higher, but it's never a deal breaker. And yeah, it is also safe to support some kind of motion blur protection technology. And now to the software. This phone comes with Joy UI, which is based on Android Oreo 8.0. It is safe to come with several game specific optimizations, and there are elements of Xiaomi's MIUI present in it. You have Xiaomi's application store, game center, music and other content services by Xiaomi including Xiaomi's cloud service accessed via a Mi account. And now to the internals. So at present we are gambling on how a gaming smartphone should be and one thing that everyone seems to have a consensus on is that uh, the smartphone should have top of the line specs and the Black Shark phone comes with Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 845 chipset giving you buttery smooth performance, ensuring that even the most demanding games will work at the highest settings possible. And it sports up to 8GB of RAM. So there are two variants, one with 6GB RAM and 64GB internal storage, and the other uh, with 8GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. And phone also features a multi-stage integrated liquid cooling system so that you don't have to stop your gameplay because the phone became so hot that you had to iron your shirt to make it useful again. Uh, that was my story. Uh, but yeah, also Black Shark says this cooling system was able to bring down CPU temperatures by up to 8 degrees Celsius. And the whole thing is powered by a beefy 4000 mAh battery, so you don't have to worry about the phone dying on those extended gaming sessions. It also supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 technology via USB Type C. And no, the race in the headphone jack on this phone. Its main speaker is situated at the bottom, uh, but its earpiece also doubles up as another speaker, so you do get studio audio with this one. Uh, Blackshark also says that the phone is built with a professional gaming mic, so that your gameplay isn't affected when you are using the mic during the gameplay. It also has a big X-shaped antenna uh, for better signal reception, so that you always stay connected while gaming. There's also a dedicated shark button on the side of the phone to immediately exit and enter the shark game mode, and which the phone is highly optimized for gaming.
game so the phone will transfer all its resources to the game that you are running so that the gameplay gets maximum performance and now the pricing the 6 GB RAM, this 4 GB internal storage is priced at 2,999 yuan, which is less than 32,000 rupees or 480 dollars. The 8 GB RAM, 128 GB internal storage variant is priced at 3,499 yuan, which is close to 38,000 uh, or around 550 dollars. Uh, the gamepad is sold separately at a price tag of 179 yuan, which is less than 1,900 rupees or less than $30. So with the pricing, it is the cheapest device till date to support the Snapdragon 845 processor and also the pricing puts it in direct competition with the upcoming OnePlus 6 and seeing all it has to offer, the phone is sure to give the used to be flagship killer phone a very tough competition. Coming to the availability, the phone can be ordered through its website and through gd.com and through me china and me japan but there is no word on its availability in india or on other international markets and yeah it supports all the network bands in india so you can import it if you want but that has its own disadvantages now i don't think this will soon come to india especially with xiaomi packing it so everything looks great with the smartphone on paper but all is not smooth sailing for blackshark so this phone was launched on april 13th and on april 20th this phone reached consumers' hands. By April 23rd, cu customers started complaining that the screen developed touch up normality when slid slowly. But Black Shark engineers, after inspection, reported that this was just a software issue and will be fixed on an OT update which was to be available from April 27th. But I have no news on whether the update was rolled out or whether it fixed the issue. But I do think that this is a minor issue and it will definitely be fixed by an update. It's not something to worry about. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. So if you like what you saw, Please hit that like button and do consider subscribing. Please know that's empty PhDs. See you next time.